Imagine not only you losing your home, but your extended family losing their homes as well. Today I went to Superior to meet the Chavez family whose block they've called home for generations was lost in a near instant. Even among the ashes, there are signs of Colorado pride. This is Second Avenue in Old Town Superior, where one side of the street, houses were untouched by the fire. On the other side of Second, the homes are gone. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Most of these homes belong to the Chavez family, generations who have lived in five houses on this block since the 50s. Homes built by the grandfather of Elsie Chavez when coal mining was part of this community, a block where 76-year-old Elsie planned to live till the day she died. I had things prepared, but not for fire prepared. You know what I'm saying? I, I prepared things for when God said, it's time to come to me. The kids would know where things were at, but not this kind of a thing, you know. I did get my important things, my underwear and, two bra and a bra. That was important to me. That's on nine years. <laughs> they were home the day the fires broke out and like everyone else had little time. The ashes were hitting us in the back and um, the smoke was, you could see 10 feet in front of you. And the time we got into our cars and got out of there, we were seeing little fires on the side of the road where the new construction was at. They keep coming back to see what once was. A burned out Chevy Ted was planning to work on. Elsie's new car that had less than 2,000 miles on it. Screws and nails from who knows where. And her photo albums all gone. And I think that's what hurts more is that for me, that I don't have my kids. Uh, little pictures, little league pictures, when they were born, my nephew, nieces, my sister's weddings, and you know, all, you know how the, we have all these things yeah, and we dog, just... There's a reason down the road, I'm sure, but I thought I'd be back. You know, I thought really we would be back home. And what would Elsie's grandfather who built up this block say about this loss? He wouldn't know, but he would be out there saying, Nisita no una cosa, llámame. Meaning, if you need something, call me. And that's how the Chavez family has always lived taking care of each other, looking out for everyone in the neighborhood. And they are now saying thank you to all those who have given so much to them. And my mom says, well, we got to send thank you cards out. I, I, I think maybe we could say it right here, you know. That's a lot of thank you cards, I mean. Please do. I mean, say, what, what would you like to say to people? Thank you very much. Plans are already in the works to build up the Chavez block once again. They just need time, patience, and money. We want you to have a three-car garage and Carmen's garage. I'm going to get a garage. We wanted to give you, we heard this was your favorite place to eat, <laughs> so we wanted to give you that gift certificate so you as a family can all go find time together and, and, and we want to help as you continue to, to build and rebuild. So, so it's just great. one very small gesture on behalf of Denver 7. Thank oh, our pleasure. And like so many other families, they are finding out their homes were underinsured. And so the family has set up a GoFundMe if you'd like to help. We've posted that information on the DenverChannel.com. And right now, they could really use a storage unit. They're staying with family members. We'll need to find more permanent housing while they wait to rebuild and have no place to store items.